welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first visit I sure hope it won't be your last thank you for coming to spend some time with me today and what do I have to share with you guys it's really big and heavy oh look it's a huge hundred and twenty dollar Temu order sent to me for review by the folks at Temu and I'm gonna sit it down because it's really heavy. Let's cut her open and see what we got. You will be seeing these items in more than one video because there is so much to see and I don't wanna make this an hour long to new video. So I'm going to show you what I got quickly, ha, quickly, and then I will make additional videos of some of the items so you can see them close up and in action. I hope that that is okay because there's just a lot to get through and I think it would make a better video. That way if you want to see one thing in particular you don't have to sit through the whole entire video to see it in action. I don't know. Just thought it would work. I've done it before and it seemed to work out well. So I thought I would try it again. Sorry guys, there's a lot of tape here to cut through. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope they didn't damage the box too much, or the stuff in it too much, because the box looks a little worse for wear. And it has this random orange piece of cardboard in there. Alright, let's get the flap down. Oh. <sighs> Alright, that was too much like work or something. This is heavy. This is probably what's adding a lot of the weight. Looks like HK Living, looks like it says. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I will try to put the prices up here, guys, because I have no idea. Because I did not um, pay for these items, I can't just look them up in my email to find the prices. I'll have to actually look them up. Let's see what this is, shall we? Ugh. Can't get it open. There we go. Huh. Alrighty. This is a thing. This is a bookshelf. Alright. This I will put together in another video. But I will try to put a picture of it from the list, you know, the um, product page. See, it's got a bunch of metal poles and pieces and parts, and I don't want to lose anything. And then it's got this cover that has butterflies on it. It's white with green and purple and pink. And the instructions there. So I want to show that to you. Um, like I said, I'll try to put up a picture of it, but then I'm going to actually put it together in another video so that we can see it together in action. But I don't want to take a chance of losing anything. It, I don't have room right here to assemble that. That would be quite the mess. Next is another big item that I will have to put together in another video, but at least it has a picture. It is a shoe rack. And I'll bring it up close so you can see the picture. And I will put it together in a different video to see what it's going to look like there. So that looks like it's going to be nice and sturdy. It's got metal holes. It's all made out of metal. There is like a fabric for the shelves, individual shelves, but the, the whole structure though is metal. So that is going to be really nice. I really need a shoe rack. That will be done in a separate video so we can see it together. Because again, I don't really have room to assemble it in here. I'm going to have to assemble it in my room on my bed, I think. So, oh goodness, there's another big thing to be assembled. What the world? What was I thinking? Guys, this is a cat toy for the kitty cats. And if you can see in the picture, it's got like a scratch pad type thing here. It's got a thing where toys hang down. We're going to put it together in a video and you will see it in action. Let me show you this side. 
So it, it has um, balls that hang down from this rod here so that they bat it and things and it's yeah let's kind of look in it though and see what we got I got a lot of things this time that need assembly so but I'm gonna unbox them and see what we see our initial reaction to what we got here let's see what color it is at least It is green. Alright. So it is. Gosh, I don't want to lose anything. I gotta be super duper careful. Alright, it's gonna sorry. It's gonna be green and yellow. So the side pieces are going to be yellow and they've got little spiky things on here so they can rub it up against that and kind of scratch themselves. Can you see those spiky things? So that's the sides and then it's going to have these bollies hanging from the, or at least that one. Oh, there's a feather thing. And another, so it's got the cardboardy scratchy thing for the bottom. And so it's got this color, green, and that yellow. I'm really, really scared I'm going to lose pieces and parts. Hey! Thank you, Mr. Nubbins, for knocking things down. And you just wanted to scare Orlene off. You didn't want her up here. Can you please not... Can you please just not? Hmm? Can you be nice? No. All right, I'm gonna to try to put this back in the box so we don't lose anything, but we are going to put that together in another video. I'm gonna be real busy recording today. And I will try to put these videos up as close to back to back or within a couple of days of each other as humanly possible. That's going to be neat. The cats will love that. They love their whack-a-mole game, I can tell you that, from Timu. I'm going to have to get them a new one because they've torn it up quite a bit. Let's not knock that down, okay? He already knocked my other stuff down. Mr. Nubbins. Hi, Mr. Nubs. Hello, beautiful. All right, so now... We have one of those famous Timu bags. We're full of stuff. It's really heavy. A lot of different things in it. Let's see. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Okay. First item. Ooh. Let's put that in there. Look, guys. It's a cat wand toy. We got some cat toys this time. Because we got a new kitten in the house. We need, yes, if you can count, there's seven cats now. She should be the absolute last. See, here she is. Say hi, Orlean. Say hi. You want to see it? You want to see the toy? We can do that. If we can do it without spilling my coffee further. Nub's already knocked down everything, including my coffee. Into the box of Timu stuff. Hello, Nubs. Let's move that. Just a minute. I have to get the twist tie off of it. Just a minute. I'm trying to get it undone so you can look at it. Yeah, you heard the bell jingling, so you want to play. So, guys, this is a wand toy that has bells on it and a rainbow-colored ribbon. And they want to play with it. So I move my coffee or we're going to have a mess. Can you get it? 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 Get it. Get it, Shug. Get it, Shug. Get it, Shuggy. Oh, there's Boo. Boo will get it. Oh, Shuggy's going to get it. Shuggy's going to get it. You cannot beat Timu for cat toys, guys. The prices are amazing. So it's got a clear hole here, and inside of it is, it looks like a silver 
glittery pipe cleaner inside of there for, you know, for aesthetic reasons. And a bell up there to get their attention. And then the colorful ribbon to swing around and cause them to go nuts. Only, let's not do that because we're going to make a big mess. All right, let's set that down over here. Let's see what the next item is. The next item is empty. That's not very nice. It all fell out. Let me see if I can find the pieces and parts. They're magic highlighters and they're all dumped in the bag. All right, we got some magic highlighters, guys. It came out of here. This plastic box here. So, see, they say magic highlighter. Let's get a piece of paper so I can show you what they do. They go down on one color and then the other end changes the color. So let's try one. Let's try red. So they're dual ended. One end has like a chisel nib. Let's So I wrote hello. And you can see that it is red. But this end is also a chisel end, but it's white, clear, I would assume. And it's going to activate that and change its collar. Oh my goodness, check this out. I made lines across to where it says hello and it turned it yellow. Let me get close. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, what have we knocked down, children? What was that? What was it? Can we not? You're gonna get hurt. What was it? Who knows, something. All right, so that was the red one. Let's try the purple one. I'm, I assume all of them, let me see. So the white, the this end, the white end is the same on all of them, okay? So we, we can just mark all at once. I'll make a little swatch of all the colors. Purple, I'll go ahead and do the red again. I should have saved these and done these in a separate video and I may do a separate video of them so that you don't have to watch the whole video to see the effect if you don't wanna. They call them magic highlighters, but they aren't really highlighters per se. They're more of a marker. The two blues, um, there's two dark blues that are very similar in color. And then there's a teal one, sort of a pinkish purple one that's very close to the red. But the difference is gonna be, I'm uh, thinking, the effect it has, and the green is very close to the green, but you know, the two greens are similar. All right, so Nubs is sniffing it. Um, a lot of them turn yellow. But they're really neat anyway. See, kids will love them. Oh. See the effect? A lot of them turn yellow. All right. But they're neat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. Like the um, dark purple turns sort of a magenta color. The red turns yellow. The royal blue turns sort of a lighter yellow. The darker green turns yellow. The orange turns yellow. The other color of blue, that's more of a indigo, turns pink. The brown turns green, and I like that one a lot because that would be good for trees, you know, when you're doodling. The um, teal turns blue. The reddish pink turns a more of a bubblegum pink and the yellow green turns yellow so out of it one two three four turn a bright yellow one turns a pale sort of creamy yellow but you know what they're fun it doesn't matter kids will love them i love them and i'm a kid at heart so there you go and they were not expensive all right, not terribly anyways. What do we have here? This will definitely get its own video because this is a diamond painting. 
And I've got a great big diamond painting that I've been working on, but I have not been working on it enough lately because with the cats, it's a little difficult because they want to help me and they want to sit right in the middle. And then they get really upset and they take their foot and they start doing this because ah, it's got sticky on it. So yeah, it's a little difficult to work on and I will have to close them out of the room so that I can finish the one I'm working on. But this one is, it's of cats and cat, one cat playing the piano. And this one is of a gray cat to look like Orlean. Do this one for my mom. It's not a real big one, so it, I can do this one in a day easy. But it's going to be a gray kitty cat, see? And so, and I wanted it to be smaller so I could do it in a shorter amount of time. And it comes with the tray and it comes with the wax and it comes with the tool and it comes with all the drills, the diamond drills. And like I said, I can do that one in an evening. Um, or at least if I want to take my time, I could do it easily in two or three days. But I'll probably get it done in an evening. It hurts my back to lean over it and work on it. Because I have to get so close to it because I can't see real well. And I have to take off my glasses and get my nose right down on it. So it may take me a couple of evenings just because my back will start hurting. But you will see that in a video. What else? What else, guys? Kitty cat toys. Because with seven kitty cats, you need a lot of kitty cat toys. This is a this is all one. And it's only a couple dollars. And let's see what all pieces they've got in here. We have these are for Miss Orlean because my cats have a huge toy box full of toys. And they get them out all by themselves, but they don't put them away by themselves. But they keep them out. But anyways, here's a catnip toy that's a little cat, a little kicker toy for her because she's so little. That's long enough to be a good kicker toy for her. And we have a couple of mouse, uh, mouse toys, one with feathers and one with a, like a string tail, little mice, and a variety of different balls. Here's these spiky ones. and a couple of pom-pom ones. I'll give one to Orlean because she's up here and wants something. Do you want it? Do you want the green one? Here, Orlean. I threw it over there to her. One kind of hard one, but it's covered in fabric and it's got stuff in it to jingle. It's got like a left print. Oh, she wants that one. And some of these plastic ones. Can you see them in there? With jingle bells in them. I'm going to put them so I can take them into my mom's room. I'm going to put them in the bag. I would give them to her but in here it's so crowded she'll just lose her toys. So there's those. That was a really super good deal on those. Way less expensive than like PetSmart or even Walmart. Sorry guys my coffee's getting cold so. What do we have in here? I don't know. 20 pieces. I know what this is. I had to look to see. All right. This, guys, for doing my diamond painting. Um, I don't know if you do diamond paintings, but it has one piece of plastic that goes over, you know, and sticks to the diamond painting. But as you work on the diamond painting, you know, where you have the diamond drills on it, it's no longer sticky, and it causes that hey don't smack the baby that's not nice mr nubbins um it would be nice if you could cover just the area that hasn't been done and that's what this is for it's to stick to it's papers to stick release paper okay to stick to the sticky part and there's 20 of them and they're like five by seven size ish or um four and a half by whatever what standard like picture size more like that not five by seven um, hey, children, quit smacking at each other. It's so you can cover the part you have not put the diamond drills on yet. And um, as you're working, you can cover it and remove it by sections. And if you don't throw it away when you remove it, it is reusable. Uh, next, I have a thing of wax for my diamond drills for doing my diamond paintings. Let me get it out of here. I got cats between me and you. 
a little plastic. Hey, stop, you two. They want mom's attention and they're arguing about it. Children, that will be enough. Hey, that's mommy you're smacking. You didn't know, did you? You thought it was your brother. But don't smack. Don't smack. It's not nice. Okay, be nice. All right, so this is a little plastic container that has a little blue thing of wax for doing diamond painting. And I wanted to see if it was any better than the red wax that tends to come with them. Then, also for diamond paintings, your little, um, here, one of these trays, when you put the diamond drills in it, some of them are upside down, some of them are right side up. There's two of these brushes, okay? And you can brush them and it helps to turn them over the right way. And also you can brush them down and pour them back in the bag or the container or whatever. So the little brush has got a hand on this end, but there's two of these. So that'll work nicely, I hope. Again, I can show you like some of the different diamond um, painting things in, a, in the video where I show you doing the diamond painting. I can show you whether or not this works. And I can't do it in here with cats. We would have diamond drills everywhere. I can tell you how I like the wax. I can, you know, all of that while I'm doing that video. Hey, now that will be about enough, you two. What the world? What is going on here? Why are we in a mood? like that, Mr. Boo. No, I don't, Bugatti. Mommy does not like that kind of behavior. Let's not be mean to our brother. Why are we doing that? Come on, I've got to get my video done. Can I please get my video done? Well, that's the end of my coffee. I need somewhere to set my coffee cup. Can I? Hey, don't growl at me. Um, okay, so this is something that has 20 pieces. I don't know what it is, so we're going to find out together. Oh, I know what it is. This is a box that looks like little matches, you know, like, so this is like, you'd strike the match. These are gel pens, guys. Tiny little gel pens. I think they all write black. Actually, this one, stop. It's blue. The part that comes off is the red, you know, like end of the, and it writes in blue and they write really well. See, it says it down here, hello. Maybe, can you see? All right, those are cute and there's 20 of them. So you could have a few for yourself and you could still hand some out. So I'll probably give one to each of my grandkids. I have seven grandchildren and I'll still have plenty for me. Those are really cool. I like to get unique writing utensils. And where can you get unique writing utensils? Uh, Timu. Okay, so this, guys, is some labels. There are 100, I think. Yes, 100 little labels to label the colors of my um, diamond drills for diamond painting. If I can get this to open. Ooh, where does it open? Um, I have plastic containers that I got from Chimu to put the diamond drills in, but I didn't have labels. I had to buy big labels and cut them down into little labels. And I found these on Chimu, so I can write the number on these and label those containers. See, they're just little white labels. And there's a hundred of them. I wanted to see the quality before I bought more than that because I obviously I need more than a hundred but I wanted to start with just the smallest package to see if they were good and again you'll see that in the diamond painting video because I would have to use those I like to write on the um, label what the diamond painting is 
like I put cat piano and then the numbers because then um, when I'm done with it or if I'm working on another I tend to uh, start one before I finish another if I get a little bored with one I start a different one and then I wouldn't know so this would be gray cat or Orlean or whatever and then I will know which painting the diamonds go to at a glance and then I like to put them in a ziplock together all the little bottles of colors so as long as one is marked I know all of those are for that painting and I know hey that's the wrong baggie of stuff or that's the right baggie of stuff all right speaking of unique writing utensils it says it just says toys 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 across here these um are like um the old school mechanical pencils where you use up one that's the you know it comes apart and then you take that and you put it up here when it's no longer sharp and you have another lead down here right but there's something unique about these and that is that they have a groove down each side of the pencil can you see it and you can put it together with the other sorry I didn't have it closed up in it comes with 12 okay you can build things so not only are they pencils but they're also a fidget they are like building blocks so you can continue to um, stack them together and make one really long pencil this way or you can slide the it's kind of a tongue and groove kind of deal so you can slide them together at least they show it working in the video on the yeah it does and you can build with them so they showed making like an airplane so they slide together and you can build different structures with these i got these for my grandson uh lucky because he has severe adhd and um can use i think there's 12 it might be more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve just feels like more than 12. uh so that he can not only do his schoolwork but when he's not doing his schoolwork when he's being fidgety he can um build things with his pencils and hopefully still be paying attention but not disrupting the rest of the class of course they're if they're watching him build things with his pencils that may be disruptive to the class but you know what can you do um but he's got pretty severe adhd and it would help him to have something to do with his hands to keep his little body under control so um i will probably try to build something with these and show them in another video um but in the interest of time, let's move along to the next item. And if they work really well, I didn't know how well they would slide together. If they work really well, I think that I will get some for my other grandchildren that have some ADHD issues and some anxiety type issues and need fidgets. I, they weren't terribly expensive, so I might buy some more packs. I may um, divide them up between them and um, until I can get more because you don't need 12 to build something. All right, so this item is also for diamond painting. Imagine that, right? But what it is, let me get this untaped. The little case is taped shut, sorry. Inside of here is a little, it looks like game piece mine's clear so it might be a little hard for you to see okay. and it came in this little clear case but it looks like a little plastic game piece like you know playing a board game but it has a magnet in it and a magnet that sticks to it and you use it when you're doing your diamond painting to help hold the cover on it as i was saying it you know you can hold the cover back and um put this on so that you don't end up getting your arm stuck in the sticky part you know you can uh, magnet it down because otherwise it wants to go back down over the painting and it will hold that plastic uh, protective sheet back and you can work on it 
and um, then you can take this back off and cover up your painting. And I might get a couple more of these because I wasn't sure how how uh, well it would magnet. It looks to me like it's going to be really good, but you'll see that in the video as well. Oh boy, this is heavy. This was adding a lot of weight. I don't know what it is, but it was adding a lot of weight. Five layer. I do know what this is. This, you know, all of my little people I've been showing in all my videos. I have old couples and young kids and all these little figurines, right? I had no way to display them very well. This is a display rack, a display case that is five layers tall and it's clear acrylic. And um, I am going to put it together and put my people on it and show you that in a video. But it, it um, is sort of like, think of like bleachers at a, like at a, ball game or something like that and so oh man if I open it up I may lose pieces again this is something I'm going to have to assemble and show you in another video but I'm going to use the little sticky things on the bottom of them and stick them to the risers that's what I was trying to think of bleachers or risers so that um, my people will stay and they won't fall over easily um, you could probably also use this on your counter to display your spices or whatever, but um, mine I got to hold my figurines, and I will show you that in its own video. I didn't get any new figurines, and I wish that I had so that we'd have new figurines to look at, but you'll see all the ones I've already got. What do we have next? Well, it certainly looks like a tube of lipstick, does it not? Rayo, R-A-I-O, the tune. Looks like a lipstick. It is not, in fact, a lipstick. It is really something that looks cool, though. Let's take it out of the packaging. See, it looks like a lipstick. I promise it's not. Instead, how does this come open? It comes, the lipstick part comes off. Not what I was expecting. It is a correction tape. So let's go across the middle of where I wrote hello. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mine didn't work out very well. Mine didn't work. Oh, here we go. Now it's working. Mine didn't want to work at first, but just be careful with it. And, you know, it just needs to get started. See, I went over where it says hello with the correction tape. So, this red part comes off. The lipstick part comes off, and it's just a regular correction tape in there. And, like any correction tape, except for I didn't have it down right. It's very, it's a little bit kind of plasticky, the correction tape part. I wonder if you can write over it. Yep. Writes on it just fine. It just seemed a little more plasticky than some I've seen in the past. Um, if it doesn't stick down, just push it down with your finger and it goes right down. I think it's because it's flexing because I don't have it flat on the table is empty save that and you can put your shoes on in it when you're traveling put your shoes in the bag or your wet swimsuit or whatever or anything else you want to store we have another baggie ah hi what's in this baggie i'm all wondering oh guys this will have its own video as well This is a water resistant laptop case. And I have one of those smaller laptops, this um, note, net, netbook, notebook, whatever, whatever they call them. Um, it's got some nice zippers on the outside where if you have, say, 
uh, cordless mounts or whatever. You could put that in there, got paper in there. But I'm going to show you if, whether or not it really is waterproof in a video and how my netbook fits in it. So you can put your cords and your mounts and kind of stuff like that. If you have an external hard drive, whatever, in these outside pockets. There's two nice sized ones here, as you can see. And then you have your pocket, your outside part that unzips in. Oh man, that's soft like velvet inside there and it's very cushiony. Anyways, um, you can put your laptop in there. And it's got a handle here for carrying and it goes down flat or when you pull it up, it, it extends a little bit. Very nice, very, very nice. What does it say on it? Simtop, S-I-M-T-O-P. So if you're going to look for it, it's called Simtop. Y-K-K, little parts, big difference. In some top, decorate your digital life, www.simtopbag.com. But you can probably get it for less expensive on Timu than you can from the website, I would say. And um, because it was not, it was like less than 50, like, $14 and change or something like that for this and I do travel some and I do have to take my bag with me and I'm thinking my camera can go inside of here also um, and then my cell phone and stuff and I could just carry this if I'm you know in my carry-on bag and I'll be good to go I wouldn't even need a purse um, so that guys is my $120 Timu haul what do you think? I know there's a lot you didn't get to see out of the packaging and in action, but don't forget, look for those different items in their own videos. Um, there will be a bookcase video. There will be a shoe rack video. There will be um, a video with diamond painting stuff. There's going to be the laptop video. Um, there'll be cat toy videos. Um, you name it, we are going to look at it, and we're going to look at it a lot closer. We're going to look at this with uh, this rack with our little Timu people on top of it. Um, so I hope to get somewhere uh, 12 to 15 videos up of these things so you can see them in great detail. And with that, please guys, let me know what you think. And please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really, really help my channel. It lets that algorithm know that I have something worth listening to and watching. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so maybe they might subscribe as well. And maybe they've been hiding under a rock lately and haven't heard of Timu. Because Timu is everywhere, isn't it? They may not have ever heard of Timu, and you could help them to find Timu and become a Timu addict and save money while shopping for things that they didn't know they needed, like matchstick uh, gel pens or building block pencils, you know? And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Oh, and remember my light that is clean. Remember my light, they knocked it down. Yay, Timu! Another Timu item. I love Timu. I cannot get enough of Timu. I can't get enough money to not get enough of Timu. <laughs> I, ah, I need my own bank or something. But my bank would be empty. That's the problem because I spend it all at Timu. All right, guys. Mwah. Bye bye. Where are you, Orlean? I don't want to step. Oh, there you are. I don't want to step on you. Oh my goodness! You guys knocked down my Mickey, my Minnie Mouse ears, and everything. What are you doing? Kitty cats into trouble into trouble. Where am I going to put this big box so I can get out of here? Hmm. Hmm. 
There's my mouse ears. Goodness gracious. Great balls of kitty cat energy. Oh my goodness, you guys really made a mess. What are you trying to do? Rotten. Rotten. Rotten kitties.